Hello and welcome. You're listening to The Replay Podcast, recorded live on June 15th, 2017. I don't know what's happening with Jordan right now, but... <laughs> I just came to a realisation. Nothing. It's, yes? it's nothing major. Okay. It's um, just yeah. a little inside joke in between us that in if between... I go into now, it'll be... <laughs> so that's Jordan. Yeah, yeah that's Jordan. <laughs> Jordan. <laughs> you're, you're very, like, concealed. Like, I have no idea what you're on about right now, because... <laughs> It's fine. Inside joke between us that I don't know what the inside joke is. <laughs> that we're going to yes. need to... We just got another rating. Yes, okay. We, we got a lovely rating on... Uh, I'm on... Mitch, by the way. Yes, yes, that's Mitch Mitch Drake here. Yes, yes. hello. Uh, think, think it through, <laughs> Jordan. Um, uh, if you are listening live you can't, and you can't stick around for the full show, uh, remember you can pick up where you left off uh, on the following Monday on our iTunes, Wooshka or YouTube page, links to which can be found on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash replay AU. Never mind. I realised I got too excited tell over something friends. small. Something small? Yeah, it, it's it's gone now. No, it's, you got to tell no. us now. What were you so excited great, for? Great, great. Uh, well, we got uh, a really nice five-star review on our Facebook page. Yep. And it was... I'm not sure what it's translate, translated from. I think I know the one you're talking about. I think it's from Portuguese. Okay. Um, and the review translation reads... This is Facebook translation, so I'm betting it's not perfect... Mm-hmm. But it says, sensational, hosting breakfast, wonderful colonial. I intend to come back soon. Okay. <laughs> I have a feeling... Thank you. Thank you, listener. Yes. They're either in on the joke, because we've all kind of done funny reviews there, where yeah, I said... Uh, sarcastic I, reviews. I said, oh, food's great. I'll be back soon. Like, I said something kind of similar to that okay. about us. So, whether right. or not this person's in on the joke or has mistaken us for... <laughs> Some kind of hotel. <laughs> or hey, look, we've got more listeners from yeah. around the world. Yeah, I just confused because yeah, no, no, I'll take it. So, yeah, so what? It. Where did the excitement come from then? Oh, because I real I thought for a second this person was actually listening to us live right now, and oh. that that would have confirmed <laughs> that they actually were listening to the show and were in on the joke. Mm-hmm. And I got a little bit excited about that, but um, okay. I realized when they wrote that review, they liked lot of our posts in succession <laughs> so the the like is still there from when we said the plans to go live oh okay yes. okay yes right. i got a little bit excited but our current uh, listeners are only josh adam cundy and kaylee jade baker oh okay there's no Excited how's it going guys <laughs> <laughs> um coming up the show we'll be talking about e3 and the big roundup that we have whether it be the predictions and our uh thoughts on what happened during each press conference um, Sony's stance on cross-platforming gaming as well. It's yes. a, it sounds like a shorter no show. Yeah, like, it, it, it does. I, I but guarantee like, this, E3. If, if anything, will go over time. <laughs> because it is E3. We've got to cover everything, every single press conference, the games, yeah, uh, yeah, our yeah, thoughts. A lot of and news. A lot. I have a, lot I have a cheat news. sheet here that's at least nine double pages. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, also, towards after we talk about the bulk of E3, a couple episodes ago, we kind of predicted what we thought would happen over E3 over this week so we're going to have a little discussion we'll we're, start we're starting with that yeah, we're, we're starting, starting with that yeah, yeah. it's first oh I thought we were going to talk about everything <laughs> no, and then no, 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 no. I thought about that as well but yeah. Mitch wants to start that no we're going to start and find out who won and yeah. that way that mm. person during the discussion of E3 knows that they of us have won E3 <laughs> right. I'm going to be and the loser yeah, I'm going to be the loser don't worry I'll, I'll lose I'll lose <laughs> it's all good, it's all good. so if first we... what have we been playing this week Oh, um, I've been playing Forza Horizon 3 still. Mm -hmm. Um, I just got uh, my friend Jason's uh, uh, driver tar as one of my crew members. Driver tar? Yeah, they like record how good you do at the game, (laughs) create an AI based on that, and they join your your squad. Okay. It's it's weird. Anyway. Squad. um, And also, uh, last night, Jordan, Adam, Toshi, and... Josh wasn't there, but he should. No, have been. we we met a cool guy online though. Yeah, okay. on yeah, Overwatch. We're, we're playing Overwatch in group chat. Mm-hmm. In no, what was it? Uh, team chat. Team so we chat. actually go into team chat in the game. Yep. And uh, communicate with all the fellow team yes. members. He thought I was a Smurf account. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> but Man. we had to explain that Mitch hasn't played that much competitive. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. He was like four hundred. Everyone else was at least hundred, and I'm sitting there on thirty. <laughs> <laughs> That was fun. It was, that was fun. fun. It was we got a couple of wins out of that. Nice, yeah. nice, nice. Joy. I don't think we lost any. We only drew. No, we lost one. The first one we lost. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. It all come back to me now. <laughs> yes. He, he went and attacked Torbjorn. <laughs> You're joking, right? <laughs> he thought it was a viable tactic, too. Oh, it was. Boy. It was. 
anyhow, um, in my sense of gaming, not much has changed still. I'm planning to change it up a bit now because mm. I would just kind of play Overwatch the past few weeks in my off time between exams and, and exams, assignments and stuff. Yeah. yeah. But now I've got a lot of free time now. I'm all done for however many weeks. I am yep. as well. I, I'm um, very happy with that. So I can start to mix it up a little. Mm-hmm. So next week I will have played a different game. Are you going to play you. League of Legends yet? Maybe. Maybe not. Different game, he says. Next week, he's going to be like, I actually played just Overwatch. He's, he's <laughs> I got platinum to on both now. I got, oh yeah, I got to plat last night on, on Xbox. Xbox. So now oh, I'm wow. plat on, but I'm just plat, so I'm 2,500 exactly. You need to just stay there. Don't play Xbox <laughs> yeah. ever again and go for Diamond on PC. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's depressing. <laughs> um, yeah. I've been playing, um, I'm getting back into Payday 2, actually. Yeah, no, I, actually, I got that. I got that because they did. It was like two million free downloads for that yes. game. Or something. It, was, it was free for like one whole week, yeah. weekend type of thing. Where so, it, like, like yeah, millions of downloads. Yeah. Um, so I've been getting into that with a couple of my mates, and it's actually can get uh, quite fun actually. Good, mm. good, and that works well on your computer. Yeah, kind of. See, I'm it's, intending to play that tonight. Actually, well, it's not how it goes. the greatest yeah. of frame rate, but it is playable. Okay. It's, you're sitting probably for me. It's about probably fifteen to twenty five frames per second. Okay, okay. so about my Overwatch level. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, if I have not bought anything for Payday Two, am I going to suffer? Um, not not exactly. If if I have the DLC and I can pick the DLC maps, yeah, where you can join them. Oh, okay. So if I'm with you, I can do them. Yes, yeah. but you won't have any like weapons or masks or stuff like that. Mm. Though at the moment they're doing a fifty percent deal on all of the um, ultimate bundle for Payday Two. So if you haven't got any payday items, it's only fifty bucks. That's only quite cheap. 50 bucks. That's quite that's cheap. quite cheap. To be that's, honest, that's, without this, it's, it's, it's meant a to lot. be a hundred as it's fifty percent off. Oh, okay. okay. Nah. Yes, fifty nah. percent off is always good. It was seven dollars. But that's for me, US, but... so let's up that to about sixty. Yeah, I'm just not going to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll yep. see. I can. I'll see how I go without it. So it's like on G two A. Ah, sure. Yep. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, but first, our E3 predictions, where we predicted each um, conference what we thought would happen, and uh, one each for each one. Ooh. So we would go off. And there's a John Wick weapon, weapon pack for oh, yeah. Payday 2. Yeah, there is. Oh, for sold. a dollar. So I'm dollar. getting that. I'm getting that. <laughs> Sorry. G2A has uh, Payday 2 for $12. If you like that as well, John Wick is actually a playable character in as well. <gasps> yes. How so much does that John- cost? <laughs> Well, you can't buy the DLC separately, I don't think, anymore. So you could actually get the bundle itself. Oh, I don't, I'm not sure. I just found the DLC on the on the thing. So you can buy separately? As All a right. redeemable code. Okay. All right. Well, there you go. Sold. All right. There you go. Jumping in now. <laughs> E3 predictions. Sorry. Yes. 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 <laughs> You're a little distracted there. I'm. Look. Okay. Yes. I just got excited about John Wick. Actually, while we're on the topic, <laughs> oh, I saw... Okay. Oh, you meant to review that weeks ago, weren't you? <laughs> we did. Did, did you? we? It was it was more oh, of a, like I told Joel uh, it was about, more like you told you me it recommended. Yet? No. <laughs> oh my god, disappointing me. They're actually making a John Wick TV show now. No. With Keanu Reeves? No, they're Keanu basing Reeves it on, on the, television. Like that underground kind of hotel. Same same directors? Uh, I don't I don't know about all I that. I hope it's the I same just, if it's the same the, directors, I'll watch it. It sounds great. Yeah. But it's kind of exploring the mythology the of the underground world. Yeah, like yeah. the assassin world. Anywho, yeah. Just wanted to put that out there. Oh, Thank yeah. you. Thank yeah. you for <laughs> following us. <laughs> Thank you. It's, it's good to hear. Good to hear more on that. Mm. <laughs> we'll, we'll cover this later in coming weeks, I imagine. Yeah. 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 Your, your podcast for John Wick 2 and uh, Blizzard, evidently. <laughs> <laughs> so where do we start with E3 and I, the predictions? Let's start with the predictions in order we gave them now coming up to four weeks ago. Yes. yes. It was a long time it ago. It was a while ago. I wish we had done this like, what, a week prior so we had a bit of a more knowledge <laughs> so, idea behind yeah. it. Are you taking notes? I, Are you yes, keeping I'll, score? Look, look, I'll take notes of, of what each one has said because I've I given some brief notes on the thing. Okay. But I'll go off what you guys are saying. I okay. just realized I what? forgot to change the graphic. Did, you, did you record? Did you hit record? I, I, I did hit record. Ooh, okay, good. But Ooh. um, <laughs> well, we've just finished talking. We're moving on to yeah. the E3 now. Do you want to change yeah. the E3 graphic? Oh, I've, I've got an E3 graphic. Somewhere. Look, we'll jump there straight in. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Our first one is Xbox. Yes. Um, these two can kind of work together between Jordan and I. Yep. Uh, Jordan's prediction was we will get our first proper look at Xbox Scorpio. Yep. Uh, in action through a brand new unannounced Microsoft exclusive. Okay. And what was that? Well, what see, was they- seven announced? That is my question. I should have actually looked. Also, this not up. Microsoft exclusive on PC. Well, that's, PC look, look, is Microsoft. Microsoft. Microsoft is PC and Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Uh, Never mind. Look, um, 
I report you, on video we did games. get see we get, did get to see the Xbox Scorpio, which is now the Xbox One X. I hate that so, so much. So do I. Everyone Any, does. Anyone with a lisp trying to order that? Oh. Can I get one Xbox One Xbox box? Can I get one F box? F. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Which one is he oh. ordering? Oh, that's mean. That's so hurtful. <laughs> uh, so we did see the Xbox One X in action with. 22 exclusives that they said at the very start they said they would show 22 exclusives for xbox are they exclusive for the xbox can i just call it the xbox because that's what the abbreviation is sure just call the the xbox Xbox. just xbox just say xbox okay so the xbox is the xbox you just call it scorpio if you want yeah scorpio sure scorpio (laughs) all right so first are they scorpio exclusive or xbox exclusive they pretty much all said when they showed the exclusive videos that it was recorded on 4k which 4k can only be shown on the xbox one x and the s the s is able to output 4k that's why they made that i thought that was promoting the whole it can be done on 4k that's the whole thing with xbox one x one X, I thought, was ultra. 4K Otherwise, it would have been like it would have been like it, it could be done on four K. All but we can Xbox do it. Scorpio games can be played on lower platforms. Oh, good. Yes, good. So there's no such thing as an Xbox Scorpio exclusive yet. Well, yes, really excellent yes. because I'm more than okay with that. Yeah. So, so that means you're not at a disadvantage if you don't have the Scorpio. That's what Microsoft's been going on about for the past two years. All about making an Xbox One family kind of package deal thing yep uh with yours yours does say only it only says unannounced microsoft exclusive there were a lot of unannounced exclusives for me sea of thieves oh my goodness well that was announced was it announced what was an unannounced microsoft exclusive then uh (laughs) think about it you're the microsoft guy yes yes well there's a lot of indie games or the id at xbox okay um i don't know i'd have to go through what was that pirate game the pirate game. Sea yeah, of just not, said it. Not Sea of Thieves. There was a second one, right? That was for. That was a different company. That, that was, was Ubisoft. Ubisoft. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. There you go. I yeah. only saw two pirates. Pirates are in this year, apparently. Ah, so Xbox One S has 4K. The oh. X is just stronger. Stronger yep. 4K. Yeah. More okay. 4Kness. <laughs> more 4K and more frames per second. So I'm going to it. Does Jordan get the point? Would look. Yeah, I'll give him the point. Look, we saw Xbox. Um... We saw an unannounced. <laughs> There well, were a he lot said of exclusives. But we, we didn't know it was going to be exclusive when they announced it, did we? We just knew it was coming. We didn't know it was going to be Xbox exclusive. Out of all the games that were shown, would you say that pretty much all of them were announced in some way? Would you say Crackdown? Was that announced? Uh, we we knew Crackdown was coming. I knew Crackdown was coming. Let, but was it say, announced? There was 22 Xbox One exclusives shown. Yes. So Something oh, one of be. them, yes. one of them would have been unannounced. I've, I'm guaranteeing that. All right, Jordan, you, you get one point, Jordan. One point. For that. I don't want to do the research. So yeah, you can have one point. <laughs> sure, sure. This will catch up with you later, and it'll be uh, researching, and I'll get deducted a point. Okay, so Joel, what did you have? <laughs> Mine was there will be at least four new IPs shown during the conference. Two will be shown throughout the conference, whilst the only two during the Project Scorpio segment. Well, there was more than two in the project. There was more than two. There was more than four. <laughs> Mine was a low thing. There was twenty-two. What we're saying. So, but it's, I only said only two during the Project Scorpio segment. Yes. Was the entire thing a Project Scorpio? No, uh, from when they announced the Project Scorpio to when they stopped advertising stuff as a selling point having 4K. Everything was 4K. Yeah, so the whole, the whole thing was a Project Scorpio segment. So I would only get half a point for that one. Yeah. Half a point. Yeah. I'll take it. That's, that's not bad. I got zero. Yes, which leads to, <laughs> leads to Mitch's. Master Chief will be there. All caps in be there. Um, actually, but will not be in a game. So didn't we decide that he would? This meant he would appear in some description. Yes. No. He's, yes. He, you said you would appear on stage. <laughs> you said he wouldn't be in any game at all. You yeah. said he would be there at the on conference. the stream. On the stream, you didn't specify that. You said you would be there. <laughs> this is at the conference. <laughs> Sorry, our fact checker just uh. Just shot you down there. Yeah, yes. see, that's that's what I was saying. What? He was he was shown in a trailer, just for a showing off the Scorpio. This is where because I saw that and I was like, oh, does Mitch get a point for that? I don't because he was it shown says not in a game. Yeah, did he show? There was no Halo game. There was but no Halo. It was a game that they showed within the trailer. Yeah, there's no Halo game. That's but what there I was meant. a game shown there. <laughs> it's a game. Actually, does Master Chief make an appearance? Halo Wars Two. But was, was it a Halo Wars Two? They did. There was Halo Wars 2 Was that DLC. during the conference? 
Ooh, let me look at the, during uh, the conference the cheat then. sheet and yeah. I will have the answer for you shortly. Also, He's saying all this, just, I don't think you get the point. Just a little update. I just bought Payday 2. You just nice. bought it. You bought it. I got it for the... free last the sta- Yeah, I know. Just... <laughs> the standalone or the... Uh... Standalone, yeah. Because yep, yep, yep. it was $12 and that's literally all the money I had in my account. <laughs> Whilst we look this up, we'll go on to the Bethesda Softworks one. Okay, yes. I, I think I won this. God damn it, no. <laughs> we'll get to yours in a moment because yours is no, just no. Uh, Jordan said they will announce a new Wolfenstein game to add to the advanced technology the Nazis have developed. Time travel will be introduced in some form. I want to give you this point, Jordan, because this was a big thing. It wasn't a full point. No, not a full point. Because there's no time travel. See, this is my argument. Time, Did you see what I said about time this? Time travel to me, because Nazis had won the war. That's the whole time travel That's thing. That's not time travel. They didn't go back in time to do that. But it's didn't alternate someone, reality. Didn't someone step through time to go meet him at the very start when he was in hospital? No? I didn't think so. I, I missed that. Right. Yeah, no, but, I don't um, think that's I feel right. Like was... I was watching this very closely too, looking for an opportunity to make an excuse for time travel. Yes. And the closest I got was teleportation. Yeah. Because teleportation technology of... no. would technically <laughs> require some form of time travel. I think you misunderstand. <laughs> See, now you're branching out. I can't give you that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, look, half, half, a point, point. half a point because Wolfenstein was okay. announced. Yeah. Okay. Um, mine was Bethesda will show off both their two big IPs. <laughs> There was nothing. And they <laughs> let me down. Because oh. I said that the uh, biggest scale is Fallout and Skyrim. They let me down with that. With yeah, they Fallout did. Fallout VR. Skyrim VR was in another different thing. And we got what, Doom? Yeah. Which brings me to Mitch's. Yeah. Because I got no points on that. Mitch said, sequel to Doom. Yes, we did get a sequel to Doom. No. Yes, we did. <laughs> no. Yes. So would you call a VR game, which is the exact same game, it's not the same, I, same game. It is. No, it's, it's the not. same game. No, it's, it's a not. different actually, game. I actually looked into it. Okay. It's, it's not. It's actually a different story, but I don't believe it is a sequel it's to not, the I Doom that came that out. as a sequel. We've yeah. just had our fact checker look at the definition of a sequel. Oh, God. Okay. Are you, are you ready for this? Yes, I am. Okay. A sequel is a published, broadcasted, or recorded work that continues the story or develops on the theme of an earlier game. Why? <laughs> Why? So oh. that is a point. I... Oh. <laughs> Dang it. No. Oh. <laughs> I was so sad on you not getting that point. Oh, boy. This... Okay. okay. Okay, continue on. <laughs> PC game show, which I didn't watch. Mitch didn't watch. I, I, I kind of retroactively watched it. Okay. I didn't want to wake up at 3 Well, a.m. based off the predictions, we weren't taking it very seriously anyway. No. I took it seriously. <laughs> did you? <laughs> oh, did what did you, you put? I, I oh, said yeah. Ark Survival of Old will finally have a release date uh, coming out of Early Access. Yeah. Which and is a negative. Not. Nothing no, there. Nothing there at all. Jordan says there'll be blatant sponsors by Razer without which, saying anything at all. And there was absolutely no Razer at all was, from what I could gather. There was blatant sponsors by Intel and they did mention it constantly. Yes. So that's yes. a double negative. <laughs> <laughs> so negative points? Okay. No, 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 yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no. Yeah, We okay. didn't agree to this. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, Mitch said dumb clothing's on stage. There was a hipster. I wouldn't call that a dumb he was, clothing. He wore a driving hat. I would call that fashion in his own sense. If he's a hipster, that's a, that's a, that's a style of fashion. I that's know. not dumb clothing. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, no, I, that was way too vague. If I saw like a Hawaiian shirt with like a tie or something, yeah, that'd probably be pretty dumb. Yeah. And you said it yourself to me, if he had a propeller hat, that would have counted. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so no points on that. No there. We we all failed PC. Yes. Which Jordan, you were no to... longer PC Master Race, I'm sorry. No, oh, that's okay. okay. Ubisoft. Uh, Jordan said, Far Cry 5 will be revealed and it will not be a Western. It will also be released by the end of 2017. Went too specific. Too specific, Jordan. <laughs> it's good to have some kind of specifics. But that's that's still two parts two parts to the statement. So yes. he then got again, half of that right. We predicted this like before Far Cry was even announced in some way. That's yes. why we yeah. that's why we did it so far back. Because we yeah. knew the lead up to E3 is when everything gets dropped. Yeah. Like even yeah. like that Nintendo Direct, <clears throat> which we'll get to. Yeah. Mm. But in saying that, would you give this to him? Because it says Far Cry 5 will be revealed. It was revealed before E3. We discussed this last week, didn't we? We decided that I get that was, part. It was during E3 okay. that we're supposed to be doing the predictions. Cheat sheet, yeah? Mm. This contains everything that is relating to E3, right? Correct. 
But it said, it, he said, Far Cry 5 will be revealed. This is saying during the pro press conference it will be revealed. No, it was revealed before E3 started. But we decided, listened to the podcast last week and we said we count everything as the lead up to mm. E3 as yeah, E3. Yeah, I agree. We did We have to that. stick to our word, Joel. Far, <laughs> Far Cry 5 is in here. I know it's in there. So... Which bring me to mind, Far Cry 5 will be shown during the conference and we'll have a gameplay trailer. Which you got correct. Which you got cor correct all the way through. Yeah, so I I get so like... Jordan gets half a point. Half a point or 0. 0.75 Mitch. a point? No, Mitch. no, half a point. Okay. Half a point because it ended 2017, which is actually February 27th, 2018. Yeah, yeah so it's completely wrong. Mitch, yes. new Assassin's Creed game to come out this year. And that was dead right. You were dead right, spot on. <laughs> spot on. <laughs> We already knew it was coming this year, but yeah. it's okay. Yeah. I didn't know it was coming. That's a prediction for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Yes. Oh, boy. Uh, Sony, The Last of Us 2 will make an appearance, this time with a full trailer. That was my prediction. Yeah. And you were let nothing. down I was so badly. let down. Sony let me down all the way. <laughs> there was nothing that was let down a lot for. of people. A lot of people were no waiting for this. There was hardly anything on the whole Crash Bandicoot thing. Because um, they said there was going to be something big with that. Yeah. Which they kind of did show something after E3, yeah. which uh, instead of playing just as Crash, you would play as, um, what's the female Crash name? The Candy, is it? No. Couldn't tell you. I, no, I don't But that's, know. that's also a playable character. I keep forgetting her name. Oh, okay. Um, so no points for me. No points for you there. Yep. Jordan. Oh, there's no points for me here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, we'll have a big Red Dead Redemption 2 showcase using the PS4 Pro gameplay and release date included. You know, I completely forgot that they didn't actually do that. With what? <laughs> Red Dead Redemption? Yeah, yeah. they didn't actually... I'm like, I didn't wasn't hit. looking for Not it. Not a single thing no. about Red Dead Redemption. See, the whole they E3. both let us down. Yeah. All the way. Damn it, Rockstar. Which Mitch has also let you I down as well. I was way off. Like, uh, yeah, was, we uh, all got look, Sony incorrect. I saw you in the same vein. I, I, felt, I kind of was hoping that, where they would yeah. go off Crash Bandicoot uh, pre-orders yeah and build something like Spyro or Jack and Daxter remastered something like that yeah which would have been nice yes um, it's just prediction was Spyro featured in some way outside of Skylander game nothing we didn't even see a Skylander game <laughs> <laughs> nothing there it's and our final one Nintendo <laughs> Jordan said we'll announce a new game set in the Mario universe made specifically to use the Switch Hang motion on, controls. Did I get that right? You I got, got that half part, of that right. Half of that right. Half. How? Well, what'd you get? The um, Rabbids game. What, that wasn't shown... Was it shown yes, in Nintendo? Yes, it, it was. Was it really? Yes. Yeah. But it so, was... Hold up. It's, <laughs> <laughs> but it was announced during Ubisoft. Right? Was it? He didn't say announced. He did. Oh. We'll announce a new game. Was it announced during Ubisoft? It was. It was showcased. They really got... Was, uh, they yeah. got some, uh, what's the guy? Miyamoto... Yeah, he came out with a little gun. Yeah, the gun. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oof. It was a bit sad. Would we give it to him? But no, te technically, <laughs> Nintendo is still announcing it. They're just announcing it at the Ubisoft None conference. None of this was ever actually uh, required to be tied to their event. We never actually covered that. Okay. All right, fine. So, so I get, get half point. that get because half does it feature Switch motion controls, though? Uh, no. They didn't show they anything didn't like that. They didn't demonstrate that, no. Okay. Half Damn point. <laughs> Um, I said Skyrim will have a set release date. That's about it. And it did. And it did. Yeah. Which so was great. So you got, <laughs> you got a point. <laughs> I had nothing else to put there. I just said Skyrim. That's okay. That's uh, perfectly valid. Mitch said we will see a C gameplay and get a release window down to the quarter for a new Pokemon game. Which is true. Yes. Really? Yes. Because I, I didn't watch it. Much of Nintendo, I didn't see anything like that. It was covered in the direct before E3. Oh, oh was it really? Okay. This is why we should have said no. <laughs> yeah. This is why. Because he wouldn't so have gotten I got, the point. I got points out of it too, so I'm fine. Yeah, uh -huh. so the direct out of E3 announced Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Because I never... Down, released down to the corner? Re released down to the day. November okay. 17th. Okay. Well, that's half a point then, because they didn't say quarter, they said date. All right, I'll just tell you the scores. Well, so we'll continue <laughs> that's on. That's a full point, man. That's, I'm, I'll tally, kidding, I'll tally. I'm kidding. You're tallying up? Yeah. Tallying. Do, 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 do. <laughs> oh god any highlights for you mitch highlights yes um what, what i point? really like the cringe the cringe moment was oh, great there's too many of those i don't know what the sony one you're talking about is though. the sony one yeah what do you mean oh you were talking about one before like i know the ea one that happened yeah the ea one was hilarious yes i don't know the sony one you're talking oh, about someone mentioned it i think that might have been joel yeah i really enjoyed how um 
<laughs> I really enjoyed how terrible uh, Mario plus Rabbids looked. Oh, I know. You haven't stopped whinging about I, that. Look, it's not whinging. <laughs> <laughs> Firstly. Um, no, it's it's just, it's a bit sad, really. Like, yeah. These rabbits are essentially minions, mm. right? They're, they're the minions of Rayman. And they've been added to my favorite IP <laughs> in a way that is just so dumb. <sighs> I mean, I understand that these people who designed the game love it and they, they put so much effort and so much heart and soul into it. Like you saw the developer when they announced it, yeah. didn't you? Yeah. yeah. He was in tears. I thought that was beautiful. Really? It's not my fault he made, made a bad game. It's we not haven't a played bad it game. Yet, we so you can't say it's a bad We've only game. seen bits it's of bad, gameplay. It's a bad concept. XCOM cross Mario? X, XCOM cross Mario with Rabbids in, on Nintendo Switch, and it has the goal to look good. It's a strategy <laughs> game for the Switch. It sounds nice. It does. It, look, it sounds great. It's just the characters in it. That's the part. Everything else about it is amazing. Mm. It's just those damn rabbits. If they were, no, if if the rabbits were the bad guys, have and... you seen the rabbit Donkey Kong? Yes, I saw have it. You? Yeah, yes. I saw that. That was pretty cool. If it was no, Mario, it, wasn't. <laughs> if it was Mario and Rayman. Yeah, and, uh, them as the teammates as well. But that the would rabbits have been as the bad guys, you would have enjoyed that. Yes. Okay. The fact that they made these ugly-looking things look like they were a redeemable character is what annoyed me. But see, like they're marketing it towards um, probably the older generation being a strategy XCOM style game. Yes. But at a younger generation because it's got the rabbits and Mario. The so younger, you got, you I, got I'm still hit, maintain, you got to hit both. That's the thing. I'm still maintaining that the um, the Switch is not for younger kids. Uh, well, that's what old Nintendo. That's what I see Nintendo Nintendo as. Yeah, it's, that's 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 your your problem. Okay. <laughs> All right. Anywho. Sorry. Joel, have you tallied the scores, my friend? I'm yes. curious. Yes, it was actually a very close one, actually. Oh, really? Yes. Um, Jordan, you had 2.5. 2.5? Yep. <laughs> out of 5? No, uh, no, no. Out of... out of, like... <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, sorry. Out of 6. 3, 6, yeah. 9... Wow. 12, 14, 16. This is, is you individually. Yeah. Yes. So, 2.5 out of 6. Yes. Um, I had 2.5 out of 6. Oh. Yes. We tied. <laughs> Oh, God. Did I win again? But, Mitch, you had three. <laughs> oh, you are kidding me. I thought I had this one, man. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I feel like I would have won if we had denounced the whole thing with the lead up towards E3. <laughs> oh, yes. And would have. You would have you lost would... your points. I would have gained mine. He would have lost his. That's why you're pushing so hard for it. That's why. I didn't yeah, know. I didn't know. knew. He knew. <laughs> no, no, no. That's no. excellent. So I have, for the second year running, won our E3 predictions. There's a whole question mark as well. We didn't go over the Master Chief will be there thing. Did we announce that as a point? We didn't cover that really. He was there. But he was in a game. He was not in a game. He is not in Halo Wars. Halo Wars is a prequel. But he was shown in the trailer at the start in he a game. Was. He was as shown. the Halo Master Chief character. He was in a game. He yes. wasn't in a game. It was kind of like Scorpio and like generated Master Chief is showing off. But he was that they can do. Graphics. And that's what I thought they'd do. That's what that was my argument on the episode. Was that... <laughs> Look, you won already. You won already. Won already. <laughs> You're trying to knock off points, and I'm not appreciating it. <laughs> <laughs> like I put a question mark. Three question mark. Three there question mark. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Alrighty, man. so that covers the uh, the predictions. Yes. yes. I guess now we can kind of look more in depth at these conferences and what we saw. Yes. Yes. And yeah. and stuff. So who do you want to start with? Nintendo, Microsoft. Sony? Should we start with the order of what they started in, which was EA? Why not? Okay. Well, didn't yeah. we all watch EA? I what? Yeah, I watched most of EA. I stayed up all night to watch that. Oh, you did. I was kind of disappointed as well. Really? Yeah, that's why I didn't bother. I just woke <sighs> up early. Oh wait, no, did I sleep through that? No, you said you woke up, but you just crashed before oh, the entire that's thing right, started. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I watched it posthumously. Mm. <laughs> um, <laughs> Which I, means after you die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I enjoyed it to some consent. Some content. Content? Consent? Con to some extent. That's the word. <laughs> yes. That's the word I'm going for. I had yeah. no idea what Thank he was you. doing. Jordan, Jordan knows. <laughs> my boy, my boy. Oh. Um, but to me, it was just like every other EA, being it sport, 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 battlefield. Well, I don't think that's a bad thing, though, because that's what EA 
does. They make sport games. I just love the idea of EA's slogan being sport, 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 <laughs> battlefields. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So other than that, I, I didn't really see much of it because we had, what, FIFA, uh, NBA, uh, I did Madden. giggle. I did giggle that they're continuing the story from FIFA 17 into FIFA 18. There's there's a story in those games. <laughs> yes, this was the big thing for FIFA last year. <laughs> Did you follow the story? Do you understand no, what the story is? No, I didn't play FIFA no, 17 no, okay. at all. Adam okay. Cundy does, doesn't he? He plays it. He plays FIFA. No, he doesn't. No, no. Just, just trying sure. to trigger him. <laughs> but the main biggest thing that they showed was the what thirty minutes of Battlefield, battle yeah, Battlefront, 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 Battlefront. Now you're doing it. <laughs> I am. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh jeez. Um, so the the Battlefront trailers and um and kind of teaser that they did is is just amazing yeah like, they did yes. the 30 minute uh war thing between um what just different players uh just like an attack on salt type of thing yeah it was the separatists versus the clone troopers yes yeah. on Naboo. Which, that looked great you get to play it as does. those robot thingies yeah it was like this is like what battlefield oh, damn it you've done it to me <laughs> yes <laughs> we've got we've battlefront gone, we've gone full circle <laughs> uh what battlefront was intended to be well, what it was yep. back in Battlefront What it two. should have been, yeah. Yeah, and then the re- revamp a couple Got years ago. Got rid of everything. Mm-hmm. Kind of changed a lot. Mm. A lot of people... Some people like it. I didn't mind it. Um, I, I enjoyed the change. You've got yeah. like a point system now. Yeah. Well, where you you gain points, which then you can spend on the different... Uh, more or less unlockables that you can play yeah, as, whether it be yeah. different characters or vehicles or something like that. Those I'm used just, to be just drops on the map, like little things you'd yeah, walk over yeah. and you'd get them. I just need to play as a destroyer. <laughs> oh, I, mi- I I have Battlefield 2 on my computer and I love playing droid droid to cars. Battlefield? <laughs> did I say Battlefield? Yes, it did. Yeah. It's going to go not around circles. End. If we say Battlefield, we probably mean Battlefield. The new Star Wars shooty game. <laughs> Star Wars Battle. <laughs> yes. That covers it. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm really keen for that. All of the Darth Maul stuff, all of the... Just, just the fact that there's a single player that is also focused on the um empire as well is really cool Mm -hmm. like we haven't seen a decent empire perspective game in a long time not since like rogue squadron Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and i'm i'm really keen so yeah that was that was ea the biggest highlights of the year unless you talk about the big cringe cringe worthy (laughs) moments you've got to have some mention man yeah it was it was great like I I don't know whose fault it was, whether it was him or the teleprompter. It has to be the teleprompter. No, yeah. I you think I, it was I him. That he's nerve? never used a teleprompter before. Really? But they would have yes. practiced it to some extent. Would okay, they, let, let's explain what it is EA. before we start. They don't practice their server structure. Sorry. <laughs> so What's up, guys? This guy, what was his name? It was Jesse? Jess, Jesse something. It's Marcus and Nick. Remember? So if you ever <laughs> if if you ever watched Prank vs. Prank back in the day, it was the couple that used to prank each other. Yeah, they got pretty YouTube famous. Didn't their kids get taken off them? They didn't have kids. Who am I? You're thinking, thinking of something else. Man. Yeah, well, they just got real dark. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So they must. EA decided that they wanted him to host for the Need for Speed segment mm. because they're idiots. And do you think they'd like rehearse that type of thing? Because it's a big build-up. Yeah, you, you don't think yeah. you just throw throw him in there? It's like so. They, it felt like they threw him in the deep end. They kind of cut to him. He wasn't. Didn't look like he was ready for it. No. He was like, no. "Hey guys, my name is Jesse. I'm a." YouTuber. Do you want to bring it up and we'll play it at it? I don't know if I can. <laughs> no, it'll, it'll be, oh, it'll be to, gone though. by the time oh, yeah, we get we'll it will be flagged, up. yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> YouTube creator and yeah. here to talk about Need, need for speed. speed. Payback. Payback. And, he's <laughs> like, and then there's a long pause. And, then and he's like, like, everyone's like, whoa! Yeah. And he's like, yeah, good game. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> he's Anyways, like, YouTube creator, <laughs> Need for Speed. Uh, I'm here talking with my boy Marcus, uh, the creator of the game. Uh, thanks, Nick. Uh, I'm a YouTuber. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, it just oh. went south. That point, just down. I, oh. I love it when stuff like that happens. I feel so bad for him too. Though. So do I. He's gonna get so, teased so much. He's gonna on get the so internet. many subscribers though. You think? Yes. Yes, oh, because that's... if you didn't know who that he was as a YouTube creator, you do I know who he is now. I didn't. Uh. I didn't follow Prank vs. Prank or anything like that. Yeah. I would actually be interested to see what he's doing now, based on that. It's. It's. The channel's a bit weird now. Just a heads up. Oh, okay, then yeah. I won't. He like didn't he like uh, break up with his girlfriend? Yeah, they broke up. They had two up. channels. They separated yeah. channels. Now they have their own channel each. Yeah, but he oh. still posts on the prank versus prank one every now and then. Mm. That's okay. the only reason I still see it because I didn't follow them after that point. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's weird. But it was god awful and cringy and awkward. It to was say the least. It. it he called um, his boy Marcus Nick. 
<laughs> Immediately after. Yeah, Immediately. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else was in Ubi's? No, actually, in EA? AA, I want to talk about Need for Speed itself. Looks pretty cool. I, I think it look, looks pretty I, cool. I like Need for Speed, and it does look nice. Yeah. Uh, but Mitch, you have some quarrels with. I just look, is it just Need for Speed in general? It's. I, I wish Need for, Need for Speed had died after the movie. Oh look, we don't need to speak about the movie. I still haven't watched the movie. You don't need you don't, to. No. You just don't. Okay. Paul uh, Walker's not in it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> not actually, anything anymore. Speaking of Paul Walker. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking Jesus. of Paul Walker, I actually watching the Speed Payback. I was like, "This is literally the first Fast and Furious in a game." Mm-hmm. Then why won't you just go watch the movie and not buy the game? Because the game could be fun. No, it wouldn't. Be. Except for the part that you can't control the actual people is what gripes me. Like they could have really pushed that to the next level. What? But um, don't what you do want to be able to play the story, not just watch it? Yeah. Why? You can only drive the cars. You don't actually what control. Do you, what do you mean? The why? People. That's what story is. You want to play the story, not just watch. That's what video games but, are. Um, yes. yes, that's what the video game <laughs> is. I don't know how familiar you are with the original Fast and Furious. Which... I can tell you right now that I have never seen a Fast and Furious movie. Okay. And I do not give never Oof. a yeah. No. <laughs> um, Tokyo Drift's the best. But yeah, the, the whole premise of the <laughs> your the... brother enjoyed the Need for Speed movie. Uh, of course he did. Yeah, that's that's my brother. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the premise of the first Fast and Furious movie was that they would drive next to trucks and steal stuff from them. I mm-hmm. can't remember what exactly they would steal. Twinkies. Something, <laughs> something of value, so they could make money or yeah. pr- improve their own cars with it. Yeah. yeah. So they would drive next to the truck while it's moving, hop on, steal something, and that is literally what happened. In this gameplay trailer. Yep. And they I was stopped like, the truck. That's got why the car I, was like, I was like, that could actually be kind of fun. They st- they stole DVD players. Oh my god, it was. <laughs> wow. What That's was a bit purpose? dated. Oh. <laughs> to resell them. Yes. <laughs> because Blockbuster is making millions. <laughs> wow, that's so dated. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so that to me, I was like, this is this could be kind of cool if they take it that direction. Yeah. Um, I'd be interested in playing it if I got it relatively cheap. No, I, yeah, I feel the same. Or uh, if I see more nice. of it and get excited about it's it, I might little, buy it. This like not a pre-order thing for you? No, no, nothing's really pre-order for me these days. It's yeah, too risky. no, don't. Yeah, too risky with the pre-orders. Like we also saw No Man's Sky. Just had to, you know, have a reference out there. No Man's Sky. Did it? No, the whole pre-order thing. Oh right, I thought you meant we saw it at E3. And I was like, no, 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 oh no. my god, that was ballsy. <laughs> <laughs> no Man's Sky too. <laughs> I mean, they wouldn't, they wouldn't touch No Man's Sky on that and that entire uh, yeah, conference. No. no way. Uh, what was the next conference in the lineup? Um, Ubisoft? I think it might have been. Let's just go to Ubisoft next. Okay. So Ubisoft had one of the best looking games for me in a yes, while. Yes, yes. just the Beyond Good and Evil 2. Oh, yes. That was yes. Sony, wasn't it? No, that wasn't Sony. I saw that live and I was very excited. Right, okay. Yeah. Uh, Paul Vanderhorn, the, the guy that started watching us recently. He's, oh, is that? He's a uh, pretty cool guy. He um, is pretty cool. Um, he recently, he, oh, he just commented ages ago that that was his favorite part of E3. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, good on so you. So he's excited for that. <laughs> no, I um, I just, I just loved the idea of this world because I've always wanted to play the game. I still have it on, um, on Ubisoft's thing. You play whatever it is because I released yep. it for free. Yeah. Um, but I've never touched it. That game looked like it was, it was space India, and there were people that were also animals, and it was just, it was lots of fun. And just go watch the trailer. I can't really. You saw it all. Didn't you? I feel like I did. Yes, yes, yes. How did you feel about it? Uh, it looked nice, but you saw nothing of it. It was just, what, the trailer? Yeah. It was all cinematics. Yes, yeah, cinematics. So, there was but no... that game is very cinematic heavy for, from what I understand. Mm, I think I'll have to go back and play the original before I touch this one because I feel like there might be a story uh, not, overlap. I'm not going to pre-order this. I know. Uh, this no. is a prequel as well. This is a prequel. Oh, it's a prequel. Yes. It's called oh, Beyond so Good and Evil 2, but it's a prequel. Yes. That's um, confusing. <laughs> look, there's no gameplay of it, so it, the cinematics may look nice, but the gameplay may look, eh, eh, yeah, eh. fair enough. No, I get that, but I'm just, I'm just excited for a new world like this. Like, I was really, ex- it, it's very, um, anything that's Journey to the West kind of gets me sucked yeah. in. Like, even like Dragon Ball Z, uh, Enclave, when that was released, I looked, I was really excited for that. Played it, mm-hmm. it's just kind of, eh. yeah. <laughs> but this looks very Journey to the West. And it's very, very action packed and. Like kind of half futuristic, half not like the the Buddhist temples out yeah. in the in the field with all the holograms around. That looked great. Yeah, 
I don't know. I'm just I'm just really excited for that. What it about you guys? Nice. What do you guys think of the Ubisoft? Um, I'm trying to remember what was shown at the Ubisoft Assassin's thing. Creed, I guess. Oh, Assassin's Creed. It was, Creed was, it the, was firstly shown look, it was at Microsoft, Creed. but um, it was also kind of touched on in Ubisoft as well. Yeah. Oh, okay. They they went a bit further, but I got something about Assassin's Creed that I want to get off my oh. chest. Oh, oh no! Oh, here we go. So this is a 4K game. That this is the big selling point. They obviously showcased it on the Xbox One X, and this is what they kept going on about 4K and how good the graphics are, mm-hmm. but yet. The guy you play, his face still looked like trash. <laughs> I could not. Believe what are you it. expecting from these people? Something I, good. I just don't like. He looks like he was taking out of like Brotherhood or something. I don't know. It just. I'm sure the environment and stuff looks you and really your nice. Damn graphics. I know. I just <laughs> annoys me when people can get facial features so right, but Ubisoft can still get it so wrong. Yeah, because they're putting the energy into other parts of the game. The yes. best looking games are stuff like Heavy Rain and, Be- and Beyond Two Souls yeah. with terrible, terrible gameplay. <laughs> it's it's alright gameplay it's if, you're, not... if you're okay to... Like, if you know what you're signing up for. Yeah, you but don't... that's that's where the cutoff is, right? Yeah. So you can't have an excellent looking game under current hardware and current development tactics yeah. and still have a good game or an expansive game. Mm-hmm. Like, this thing is meant to have a massive scale. I know. Rivaling I know. that of like... I just really, really like... That's just small details for me. I know. But the faces, it's, that's not really a small detail. It's a 3D... Fu- you are not gonna, You never look at his face anyway. No, but you look at everyone else's <laughs> face in the entire game. It's like, hello, nice to meet you. Their, their faces aren't covered completely. Yeah. And you know that... You, you heard all the sort of stuff that they're doing, right? Like how that... Uh, a guy in the who works in, on his farm during the day will go to a pub at night. It's the same guy. And they yeah. track each character individually and yeah. have their own AI and stuff like that. Like, it's they, they have definitely put the heart and soul in. That's I'm where not... their processing power is going as well. Yeah, I know. That sounds very in-depth. Yes. I don't and then know. you can just go stab him and then his farm dies. His children starve. Are you serious? I don't know, probably. <laughs> See, that, that's, now that's even further. That's even too much in-depth there. It's the biggest map they've ever made. I, do, I, st- I still think it will be a good Assassin's Creed. Like I'm not saying that at all. I just yep. that's just one of my personal gripes. Yep. Okay. It you're just allowed, bugs me. To have gripes. It just bugs me when I can play games like Uncharted where the facial features are decent. But I know, do not. I, like, <laughs> it, I know it's not open world, which is why it's also just a platformer. It's a 3D platformer. Thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> so, so is Ukulele. So is Assassin's Creed. No, it's not. It is a 3D it's an action platform. RPG now. Yeah, I know, but. <laughs> Jordan liking RPGs? Oof. He, no, he, he doesn't like it. He's got bad faces. <laughs> oh, right. But he won't like the game because it's I'm an RPG, sorry, though. Mm. No, I, I feel like I will enjoy Assassin's Creed... Uh, what's it called? Assassin's, Assassin's Creed, Creed Far Cry, yeah. Origins. Um, I'm excited Creed Witcher. to play it. I just wish they could just touch up the face just a <laughs> smudge. <laughs> just for you, Jordan. Just yeah, for you. Touch yeah, those faces. Yeah, just I mean, you. I understand as well. Yeah, they've, they've released this new console that's meant to be the best graphically yeah. that's existed. And then they released that. But they've got to keep the, the textures and models low enough for the Xbox One to run it. Yeah. So you're going to see a lot of that. Mm. I guess so. I guess so. They could just patch it for a Scorpio or something. But anyway. I wonder if the Scorpio is going to have a bigger hard drive to cover all of these 4K patches. I don't know. Did they announce the um, hard drive specs? I might have to look uh, into that. They, yeah, they give the specs of the entire um, yeah. Scorpio. Well, we had that ages ago, didn't we? We spoke about that. Yeah, you, I think you did. And we were just like, yep. Yeah. <laughs> then Mitchell broke my brain. and yeah, it's, it's <laughs> No, I think we were talking about gigaflops. We didn't actually talk about like internal oh, power. Teraflops, mm. yeah. Teraflops, whatever. Same Anywho, uh, next conference. Anyone else <laughs> want to say anything about Ubisoft? Well, uh, I'm still trying to think of... The only game I can think of is South Park. Oh, but they've yeah. shown that every year. Well, yeah, okay, I suppose. But there is a release date now. And I hope they stick to it this time. It was a release date last year. I know, but that's, but that's, they better stick to it this time. Look, I'm excited. Looks nice. Okay. But yeah, I got nothing else. Who's next? Uh, I guess seeing as we'll stay with the multi-platform guys first, then um, yeah, Bethesda. PC. We'll hit Bethesda. Oh. there wasn't really much to talk about. PC well, I'm just going to ignore shit. PC because that was just sad. <laughs> <laughs> so Bethesda, we got three VR games. Yes. Which are just re-releases of the same games. Which was Skyrim, Fallout 4, Fallout 4 and Doom VFR. I, I love VFR. You, I, you I love, love the, the fact that it's called they, VFR. Yeah. It, it suits the franchise. It does. I don't want VR. I no. want a game. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what actually annoyed me was that they had the teleport feature in 
Doom. Doom? That yeah. looks stupid. I know. I hate. That's the one thing I don't like yeah. about VR. I'd rather what play Fallout it without did. the hand motion controls yeah. and just have the goggles on with a controller and move normally. Yeah. Yeah. And then your camera controller is just sharing yeah. your head, and that yeah. way they can use this other stick for like other things. I like it. Might be an option you can change, but I just teleportation. It, it just looked like an on rail shooter. Yeah, yeah. It's just it feels like it's taking a step back rather than progressing VR forward. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Get rid of VR. Six of games. <laughs> I love Josh's uh, translation of VFR. I can't. I can't say it on air though. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, the other thing they brought out was the paid mods for See, didn't they Skyrim get rid of and that? Fallout. That no, they they yes, kind of yes. They gave mods for console uh, for Skyrim and Fallout. Yes. But they're all free. Yes. But now they're releasing it again as paid. As paid. And you're meant to buy it. Yes. Let Skyrim die, please. I just, I was the Creation Club. It's cool. Yes, just mo- moving away from Ubisoft for a sec. I was excited to see the detail that they were putting into Skyrim for the Switch, because that was also announced in this. As that Zelda the amiibo the, thing. The fact that, that <laughs> Skyrim is amiibo compatible no, is hilarious. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. It looked like Link and yeah, everything. Yeah, it was yep. terrible. It mm-hmm. looked like bad mods. It, it was actually kind of scary. <laughs> <laughs> so we've already got Breath of the Wild. Oh, uh, Josh, it's not its not uh, real. It's just reality. So very effing re- reality. Okay. Virtual. Virtual. Thing. Yeah, virtual very. effing reality. Very yeah. real. <laughs> very effing real. Yep. That's what he put. <laughs> okay. Um, so, I've lost my train of thought. Yeah. The Amiibo support in, yes. in Skyrim is the only good thing that came out of Skyrim this whole thing. And that is essentially, <sighs> honestly, what that is is paid mods. I, I don't know. <laughs> that's true. That's very true. Can you imagine true. running around Skyrim just as like Bowser With or a Master Mario? Sword? Oh, if they give you a Mario hat, I'll be so happy. Oh, I, I can <laughs> see that Mario hat. You've got the, the fireball that oh. bounces. Oh, you've already yeah. got the fireballs. You Does, might do they bounce? Room. I don't know. There actually. you go. you got bouncing fireballs. Yeah, You're Mario you now. Get. Yeah. <laughs> I'd love to see, like, I'm going to have to look at a lot of gameplay of that just to see what crazy things happen in the Skyrim universe now. Make oh. a new Skyrim game. A new Elder Scrolls game. New Stop Elder calling. Scrolls game. People need to understand that Skyrim and Elder Scrolls are different. <laughs> what? I, I love Morrowind. I love Oblivion. I need the next one. <laughs> I don't... I, like, I'm like. i going to buy Elder Scrolls spot. Online uh, Morrowind still because I'm a sucker. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I'm when I get a Switch, I will buy uh, Skyrim for it. Mm. But I need the next one. <laughs> <laughs> they won't give you a next one until people stop buying Skyrim. So you want everyone who's listening, all, all uh, eight of you, to not buy Skyrim? Yes. Don't buy Skyrim. They'll find out that Skyrim's not selling very well, and they'll be like, you know what? We'll make a new um, Elder Scrolls game. Come next year, for uh, Far Cry, Fallout 5. Fallout 5 will come. No, come next year, it'll be Skyrim for the uh, backwards compatible. <laughs> Just play it on your normal Xbox. Yeah, we're going <gasps> to release it for the Xbox original. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anything oh, to do with that's Skyrim. a good transition actually because that was amazing mm. uh, but we'll cover that soon yeah. um, <laughs> what else was on Ubisoft uh, not Ubisoft Bethesda Bethesda had um, Elder Scrolls Legends coming to mobile oh but it's just that that's the card game looking yeah. thing right it's just to me it's uh, what Hearthstone and Gwent yes that's it to me yes and I, I just love the Elder Scrolls universe and I think it's 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 fair for me to want to play a card game based on that universe mm-hmm. if other people get to play card games based on their favorite universe. Yes, okay, I understand. It's not a Skyrim game, so I will allow it. Uh, don't don't be so quick though. Um, they announced the latest expansion, which is no Skyrim. No, for, for it. So it's all like it's all. I think it's like from the north or something. You can't buy it. <laughs> I won't anything buy the expansion. The, anything with the word Skyrim, in it, you can't buy it. <laughs> so they've actually re-released Skyrim on the Switch. On the <laughs> in a card game form, in a card game form, you're just getting all and the Skyrim and VR and yeah. VR. Yeah, mm, mm. it's just it's so much Skyrim. You just don't know how to do it. How what many times do the... you play the same game? I know. Let it die. You know, I, so, I, yeah. Something. Some of the two things I enjoyed from the Bethesda were um, Wolfenstein Two, yes. yes, and Evil Within Two. Evil Within Two's trailer Ooh. was spectacular. It was pretty weird. Like, I couldn't figure out what was going on for a while. Like, I saw the character and I was like, 
Is that the Evil Within guy? Because I haven't played the first one yet. I hadn't played. The, I had yeah. no idea what this was the yeah. whole time. I was like from the from the ghost figure in the hallway running yeah. towards you really quickly. Yeah, I had chills throughout the whole trailer. Really? I was so excited for this game. Because see, I yep. I want to play these games, but I feel like I get too scared it, and not be able to deal with it. It made me scared. <laughs> <laughs> just watching the trailer and i'm just like no i'm not gonna think, buy it I that's how i know be... it's a good game yeah because it made me damn well scared <laughs> we should do a gameplay one where i'm playing it and you two are watching yeah. i think that should be a thing we do i'd probably like have the whole thing where i'm just holding, <laughs> holding my hand in front of my eyes type of thing we're gonna make joel play resident evil no right? no this we is, don't this part's fine this is fine yeah <laughs> if i was gonna make him play resident evil make him play it vr yeah. oh, <laughs> it's not only will scare him he'll be mad at it yeah yeah <laughs> so uh, what, what was your favorite or do you already give us that on Bethesda? Because you gave um, us the negative points. You didn't really give us your favorite. I didn't really have a favorite, to be honest. It was... There was no real great thing with Bethesda. Because like, it's like they gave me just VR. Just, they didn't give me a game that I would really enjoy. And then was that just because you didn't get your points? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, look, I haven't played Wolfenstein. I'm not a big fan of VR. Yeah. Uh, there's a scary game that they released. I'm not a big fan of that either. Mm. So there's, there was nothing there that really piqued do, my interest. I do kind of get it though, because like being a game company, you can't come out with something big every single year. Yeah, you can. Hmm? If well, you Call of Duty does it, look how to, well they to do. Them, to them, probably having games are um, an art form to them. <laughs> what stick to the same art? Then go from there. Did you see Bethesda Land's art style? It was nice, yes. It was mixed just like Fallout's um, DLC where you're in the same theme park. Yes. That's how they did it. And I it know the art style was great, yes. yes. But they stick to the same art, Skyrim, for years and years and years. You got it is time to move now? on. Oh. <laughs> Don't give me this. No. You got, you got dwarven crabs? Oh, with armor and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I saw those memes. <laughs> no. Nah. Look, there's nothing that... I didn't enjoy it. Okay. It was okay. Good, it was good, they good, showed good games, but I won't be getting anything. I'll probably end up getting something out of that. If you get the Evil Within, I'll probably cry. No, I'll get the Evil Within. <laughs> if you get me for played, I will cry. <laughs> but how cool was that with him like melting into the into I the know. white? Yeah. And, oh, it was so good. There's your no. good looking game. Yeah, yeah, it did look pretty nice. But um, just before we hit it, the uh, the big big names. Uh, do you want to say anything about the PC gaming show? Anything of interest there for you guys? I didn't watch it. No. I, I skimmed through it and the host was a bit uh, full on. Yeah, he was a bit weird. Yeah. He was one. Of, he was another one of those guys that just wore the plain t-shirt with the with yep. the blazer. <laughs> the blazer logo t-shirt. Yeah. 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 Every conference does that. He was... <laughs> and it was... I, I skimmed through it as well and I noticed... And this is just me stepping back into me because I'm an ass. <laughs> it was really underexposed the whole time. Oh, don't... You oh, should those, have seen the issues those, me and Joel were yeah. pointing out. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> the Sony conference, they do like this weird wipe across the screen. Oh, like, no. Like when they were adjusting the CCU or something. If they're <laughs> color correct, they don't color correct on the fly. They correct it and then do a screen wipe, like a wipe. Just, that's just a wipe. Yeah. Which you can you can see the line, which goes from a different color but it's the same to a shot. different color. It's the same shot. Oh my god! But they screen wipe it. <laughs> I, we were trying to figure out for ages what was going on. What but the yeah, hell we had, is we had, that? We had to go back multiple times. Is that we, a bandwidth you, thing? I don't Do you know. think that might be a bandwidth tactic? But I that's terrifying. It happened multiple times during the press I'm conference. I'm so glad looked... I wasn't there for that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, speaking of uh, t-shirts and blazers, yeah, let's let's get into this Microsoft. I'm thinking games from Microsoft. So we had um, obviously that announcement but we had forza motorsport 7 come through which is uh i've already uh, got, a good... just got some news that our audio was was down there oh no yes did you miss us yelling about names so i've just changed something it's hopefully okay. that did you lower the resolution now. or something no no i think it might have been the video that i had playing oh well, anyway let's, yeah, yeah, let's uh, just keep going it's okay. should this we go the... through the big highlights of what we thought was the our favorite games on the thing or uh yeah i, I might i was kind of I was kind of okay with Player Unknown's Battlegrounds coming. Yes, yes, that so was, was I. That was something I would be okay for that kind of console because I can't run it on my computer. I, I understand that. The exact same. And it's a big thing at the moment. I'm I'm very happy for that to come to console. Would, would you consider getting an Xbox One S uh, for this? Considering they also put a $50 price drop on them. What is Player Unknown exclusive? To Xbox, yes. Oh my God. God damn it. These, so. these exclusives. Oh, my God. Um, no, probably not. No? No. Look, I have it on PC. Again, mine yeah. barely runs at, what, 11 frames per that's second. That's an advantage on that game. 
what uh, on low low not when you quality. have low frame rate oh when you have low quality yes so like the grass is all lowered and stuff yep, 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 yep. but when you spawn and you drop in and the buildings take probably two minutes to actually load yeah no you kind of kind of screwed there right um i enjoyed uh metro exodus i i saw that it i'm just look i'm okay with all the dis, this dystopian stuff that's coming through yeah. um because that's based on the metro book series isn't it I uh, couldn't tell you. I know the previous ones was the, what, Metro Last Light and Metro... Um... Wasn't it there are numbers after that? Yeah, one? yeah, yeah. N- numbers, n- yeah. Metro board. numbers. Metro numbers. But I know the Metro numbers one was based on a book. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if the other two were. Okay. And I understand that that's, that's fine, but yeah. What I was... Actually, did you guys see The Last Night? The Last Night? Yeah. Um... That was that, that kind of artsy... Uh, rainy kind of Blade Runner kind of looking game with the pixel art over the top of the the high quality images. Oh, I think I did yeah, see that. Yeah, the guy yes. sleeping on the bed. Yeah. Was, yeah. Yeah. yeah, the side scroller looking thing. That looked good. That looks interesting. It's very art. You know, you know, it's hard to convince me on these pixel graphics. Yeah, because you're games. complaining about a man's <laughs> face. <laughs> <sighs> there was a game that I saw in one I of the press like conferences was, looking at uh, it, there was a game that had no game. faces. There yeah, was, there was a, there, the hologram game. That yeah. was cool. There was, no, there was a game where mm. none of them have any facial expressions, but some of them have like... That actually wasn't the Microsoft mustaches one. and stuff. That was the Microsoft one. That was... Uh, oh, Artful Escape? No. No, no, no. It was here. It's here. Ashen. Ashen? I think so. Okay. that That's one of them. It, it might be up your alley, Jordan. There's no mm. complaints about facial expressions. <laughs> They're just blank. Uh, yeah. What my favorite Except story scene. game. Actually, actually, we got to mention this, that Anthem game. Yes. Okay, I will be getting that because I know you and all your friends are going to be playing it. Oh, I'm not sure about it yet. I'm still not what? convinced. Get yeah. a PlayStation. Join me. I'm getting it. I like. It looks really cool. Do I just. You, I think I need to see a little bit more gameplay. Do you know what this game is? Do you understand what it is? Yes. What do you think it is? Uh, Destiny crossed with the division. Wrong. What? It is Xenoblade Chronicles X. Oh, exactly. Right. Yep. Is it really? Look, yes. Do you get in giant mechs? And yes. Z- really? You yes. Oh. That was the whole thing. You're a human who gets in mechs. <laughs> and flies around and does random missions with your buddies. Oh, okay. But I don't have anyone that plays that game, so I'm going to buy this one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I might, yeah, I think I might get in that case. Um, That's Windows 10 and Xbox, I believe, that one. I think most of these are cross-play, aren't they? Because I think every... That, is that really exclusive as well? I'm going to feel so let down if that's exclusive. Ah, I just... Oh, my God. Sorry. Um, <laughs> what? Piece of news on here I just noticed that I missed completely. The original Xbox control, the Duke, the big one. Oh, yes. Is being released to the Xbox One and PC. So, yeah, I'm mm-hmm. buying that. Yes. I'm all over that. Holy hell. <laughs> if you know what the Duke is, it's the original Xbox original. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, X- um. Microsoft One. That's, that's what made Microsoft win. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's like this big, beefy, nice controller mm-hmm. that they stopped making. They went to the small little compact one. Yeah. And um, when the 360 was released, there was a guy who modded a bunch of the old ones with the Bluetooth uh, 360 controls inside of it. Mm-hmm. So he, he made these and they released 10 of them. And mm-hmm. I've always wanted one. Yeah. Okay. Wireless Duke. So I'm now buying I'm, one of these. I'm pretty sure they're going to cost about $110 Australian, if I'm going to guess. That's only like 20 bucks more than the normal controllers, anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, um, <laughs> I still want one. I want one. Uh, I'll be uh, playing my games on that. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Two big more games that I really enjoyed was, one of them was Sea of Thieves. Yes. Oh, yes this course. is the better of the three pirate games we saw. Yes. Yeah. Which looked amazing. Yes. Uh, co- like comedy style pirates, multiplayer exploration. Eating a whole exploration. banana. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah like, gun, shoot a guy. Next minute, pull out a banana. Ooh. Did you did you see the um the oh, I can't remember who it was. There was a guy who was reporting on E3 who ate a banana the same way that the game did. <laughs> oh, like stem yeah. first and just <laughs> And then uh they released the um the company that made it released a challenge to him afterwards saying, "Okay, now try the coconut animation." It just holds a coconut and just eat the coconut. <laughs> like husk and everything. It was great. Um, so we just have confirmed that Anthem is an Xbox exclusive. <laughs> no! <laughs> Looks like someone's buying an Xbox. <laughs> They're $50 cheaper at the moment. Did you know that? I have to buy an Xbox now. <laughs> trade in the PS4? <sighs> no, not trade in. Uh, uh, get an Xbox. But I feel yeah, like we can I all play to together, now. wouldn't that be Yeah, wild? and then you can great. get Battlegrounds and, and Code Vein, which I'm really excited for as well. The anime Dark Souls game. 
Oh, okay. Did you see that? With like the, the mask thing? The I, I probably did see yeah. it, but yeah. like there was a lot of games through this press conference and a lot of them went one ear out the other. How really? Did, there were so many. Joel, how did you feel about the um, the Dragon Ball Z game? Looked great. That's the first Dragon Ball Z game I've seen where they get the art style in a 3D environment that doesn't look bad. The art style was pretty much perfect. It's a, it's a 2.5 it's uh, it's a fighting it's a, game. It's a two D plane shooter with three D models. Yes, two uh, D plane fighter with three D models. Yes, yeah, and that's really cool. So I, I'll be getting that one for sure. Yeah. Um, the last one for me is Cuphead. Yes. Yes. Finally, so, a release date. Uh, also, uh, finally coming. It, it, it's that's also a um, Xbox One exclusive. I'll probably get it on PC. Look, I'm gonna upgrade my PC then. It doesn't uh, say yes. PC on here. It's uh, Microsoft. Microsoft. <laughs> it's, Microsoft. Yeah, it's going to be on the Microsoft it, store. I can promise you. That's that. what I mean. It's yeah. it's got to be on PC because of that. Do you have any final mentions, Jordan, before we move on to the next one? Uh, there was something. What was um, that? The Xbox original games backwards compatibility. We touched on it earlier. Yeah. But I just want to bring that back. How do you think this is going to work? I think it's going to be. I don't know if it'll recognize the disc. That's my. So, so I think it'd either be buy them purely online if you want to play them again mm. um, or put the disc in like the Xbox 360 works. I'm not sure how they're going to do it. But well, I have I have a few discs that I'd love yeah. to play like Jet Set Radio Future, but I know but, that we have to wait for them to make that compatible. Yeah, exactly. And one of my favorite Xbox original games will always be Kung Fu Chaos. <laughs> but my issue here, if you haven't played that game, you have to. It is... 10 Never out heard 10. of it. Never 10 heard out of 10. it. No one has. Best game. <laughs> the best fighting game you will ever play is Kung Fu Chaos. Fusion Frenzy. No, it is it? not. <laughs> it is. Oh, Fusion oh, Okay, yeah. Okay. okay. It is, to... If it's like, yeah, okay. No, I have to make you guys play this game. <laughs> um, yes, so my issue there is the company, the developers that made that no longer exist. Like the company went mm. um, yeah. bust or something. They probably got bought up by Microsoft. I'm not sure, did they? Because the game was a Microsoft exclusive. But if the original developers are no longer working under that company or brand, will they even do this game? Because wouldn't you need the original team for the rights and stuff to... Unless Microsoft it? owns the IP, because if it was an exclusive, then they own that. Oh, okay. But they'd also need to Have identify access. that that game is good, Yeah. that people will buy this game, and that people will want to play this game. Mm. For them to do that, because that's why that's the way that this this backwards compatibility is working. It's yeah. not an emulator. They yeah. they write code for each individual game. Well, at least I still got my original Xbox at home. Yeah, so and I'm that's fine. that's the advantage there. Yeah. Except I wonder if they'll make the Duke able to. <laughs> no, I doubt. It. I doubt. It. <laughs> um, my last honorable mention mm. before we move on to a different company is a combination of Super Lucky's Tale. Which was that 3D <gasps> squirrel platformer that looked great. I saw that like starting up. I was like, this isn't Conquer, is it? No. I think it's like, what? you wish for Conquer, so you get this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And Crackdown 3 with Terry Crews. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. See, I feel like this has put silence to any rumors for him doing voice work for Overwatch. I don't think so. No really? I think Way. it's just making me want it more. Really? Yes. I feel like everyone, like all the hype and stuff would have been him kind of teasing that he's doing something with the video game company. Whereas it was cracked down the whole time. He was just messing with it. Did you ever play the first crackdown? I I can't remember which one I played, but I didn't was like it. Was there zombies? I don't recall. No. Was there jumping around and yeah. destroying cars and you yeah. didn't like it? I was a kid. I didn't get into it. Oh, uh, forget the story age wasn't difference. In it. Yeah. I, I think I was in my I last year I, of high school. If I played it now, game. I'd probably enjoy it. Yeah. But back when I did. I encourage you to get this game because mm. this is GTA as the Hulk yeah with buffable like abilities like you you the more you run the faster you get the more you yeah. beat stuff the the stronger you get okay you pick up cars throw them yeah it's also multiplayer <laughs> Drop- so you want to play with me bitch now. yes <laughs> yes and uh, and it's just it had one of the best twists in in gaming i've ever experienced and i love oh, it oh really it's one of my favorite so games. crackdown 2 is the one to play no no number no. one don't play Crackdown 2. Don't touch okay. it. Okay. <laughs> What's wrong with Crackdown 2? They introduced zombies for no reason oh, and okay. made the game pointless. Zombies was Ooh. a hit thing at the time. It wasn't zombies. It was like Sun Creek. It was weird. So like uh, that Will Smith movie? No. No, no, no. It was. I Am Legend. That's the one? The yeah. one with the dead dog. Um, oh, oh, no. Don't bring that up. It's okay. It's, it's a sequel to uh, Marley and Me. Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Do you want to move on to Sony now? Yeah. Talking yes. about things that have died horribly. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of things that died horribly, yeah. Sony let me down. Yes. So, do you want to run us through the many ways in which you were disappointed? Uh, one, there was no The Last of Us 2 at all. No. Though you got Skyrim VR in that one. Oh, shit. <laughs> Look, don't want Skyrim. Yeah. I'm, I'm fine with them not showing games if they know they're not going to come out for a while. Look. Because this is the same issue that I had. What was the thing that got delayed recently? Red Dead. Yeah. I was like, why would they tell us it's coming if... The hype. And give us a date if it, they knew they weren't going to have it ready by that time. Like Hype. That is the exact story behind South Park. Let yeah. down. Yeah. Just, mm. it, th- this is the 33 that South Park has been at. Mm. Yeah. Exactly. I think it. It, it kills the game more than it, it does. helps it. So, so I, I think they might have done smart When it's here. pushed back, yes, it would kill the game. Yeah. Like if, if it's... And that's um, why they're not announcing Last of Us. They don't want to jump the gun and lose all the potential sales they have because this is a PS4 exclusive mm. where you have to sell every single person who has a PS4 on this game to turn like a really, really good profit, the same profit they had with the original Last of Us. No, it's more you got to actually sell everyone who doesn't have a PlayStation to get this game. True. Because like it's what what Xbox has done to me. It's all these games that are mm. so exclusive to Xbox. I'm just like, man, I am missing out. I want this Xbox now. <laughs> yeah. And look what's just happened. With, and look uh, what it's done. Yeah. But there were a few good things in um, the Sony conference. One of them, which um, we had Knack 2. Right? Yeah? Was that there? Are you messing with me? No, that was real. <laughs> Mac 2. Mac 2 is <laughs> When real. did that happen? That, that, no, you messing no, with no, me. No, no, no. I watched the whole thing. It wasn't conference in the conference. It wasn't in the conference. But oh, it wasn't in the conference. No, no. Oh. Um, I, I enjoyed um, God of War. It was the second time they showed at E3. Yeah. yeah. But this time it actually had gameplay rather and it, than it just did a look story. Good. I think it, it's going to be on that same kind of level as... Um, Coco Bandicoot, by the way, Joel. Is Thank you. The, yes, I just wrote it in the notes. <laughs> I think it's going to be a very yes. similar game to uh, Assassin's Creed Origins. I think it's going to yeah. have that same weapon system, the same exploration system. Oh, and weapon system? No. Yeah. I don't think that'll... Look, I don't think God of War is anything like that. I but feel they're like going God for War something might... more gritty and yes, but realistic. I don't think there'll be like loot drops at, at monster things. I think it's... like You know you know how God of War works. You get to a certain point, you I beat a boss. A God, God okay. <laughs> God of War. <laughs> uh, God of War works into you get to a certain point, you unlock a different weapon, and or you get a different ability or item to help you progress through the story. Yeah. God yeah. of War has never really kill this enemy, get a loot drop rate, that type of thing. Okay. So what you just described to me at the start, that is the perfect des- description of a Zelda game. Um. Yeah. Yes. And what happened to the most recent Zelda game? What. They allowed item drops, different weapons. I don't know. It's God of War, though. So? It was Zelda. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's a completely different art style. It's more gritty. You're probably going to play as his son. Yeah, at some point, yeah. It'll so be the end of the game. And you'll swap over. Yeah. So kind of like Red Dead. He'll die. Yeah. And yeah. then you have to play the son. I don't think it'll game. work like The Last of Us, where um, it gets a certain point, you play as Ellie. Yeah, in the game, like you get separated or something. Yeah, I, I bet Kratos, what you've learned from your bet dad. Kratos is only there for the first like tutorial level. No, yeah, I bet Look, it's he just was there that... throughout the entire thing. Yeah, but that was just a demo. Well, it was. <laughs> it would annoy so many people if you're playing as a kid the I whole know. time. I know, and it makes me so happy because I know <laughs> that's what they're gonna do. <laughs> oh. um, um, I want to bring up so- a couple of cringe moments for okay for, this, for yeah. oh. Sony in general for me. <laughs> first of all, Bubsy the Woolly Strike Back. Don't even know what that is. Bubsy, the the oh, flying cougar whoa. from the 1980s. What's up? Oh, uh, our factory just gave, gave us a tweet explaining how the Xbox thing worked. But you, you can the finish. Xbox thing. No, no, no. no. Yeah. Xbox just... original. So your original Xbox discs will work. Digital licenses will carry over, and you can system link play across all three generations. Oh my god, that is mental. I love it. Yeah. Well done, Xbox. They yeah. won. Um, <laughs> another cringe for me uh, was definitely them pushing uh, Dissidia Final Fantasy NT, an arcade version of the game mm-hmm. with Noctis in it, which is just yep. a bit sad. And finally, uh, Spider Man. Sp- oh, cr- cringe what? moment of Spider Man. <laughs> what was cringe about Spider Man? Second E3 in a row that they've closed on Spider Man. Basically the same footage. Uh, no, didn't no. Sony close they did not last, show year gameplay at, last year? Yeah, they sh- they closed on the Last of Us. No, 
Or was that during a different... No, that Last was... Wars, they just dropped it. They just... What, well, last out. year? They just gave it to us randomly, I think. I thought it was during your, at the end of a press conference. This is the second year that they've ended with Spider-Man. But, but they showed more on Spider-Man. Are you not like, I'm excited, interested? Like, seriously, if I can get this PS4 that I've got home to work, I will be getting this game. Mm-hmm. That game and Days Gone. Yes. Days Gone looked amazing. Days Gone that does look good. Strange yeah. zombie looking game. Yeah. Spider-Man is just a quick time event. <laughs> I don't care. I enjoy that. <laughs> you don't like faces, okay. but you prefer it when there's no gameplay. He has a mask. You can't see the face. Yes. Yeah, exactly. And the faces that we saw in game were rendered to an acceptable standard. Jordan's seal of approval. <laughs> also, at Spider Man's. So awesome. I love that you're complaining about people's faces, but you're so excited about Xbox original backwards compatibility. Yeah, because they're okay to be bad because they were back. But they're on a new console. But they were made for an old console. Yeah. That's acceptable. <laughs> and even then, I still think the faces in Kung Fu Chaos are pretty good, <laughs> even though they're completely cartoonish. And... Can we can we talk about uh, the second time that Shadow of Colossus has been made in HD? This is the second time. This is the second time they, they released Shadow of Colossus HD with uh, Ico, I believe, on the PS3. Oh, wow. Yeah. I've done it again. Yes. Never played it. Never got interested in yeah, those games. I didn't even know this game existed. I thought this was brand new. No, no, no. It's, when... it's like a gem. It's like one of those oh, cult okay. classics that keeps getting remade and re-released just so I can make money out of the game. Yeah. What even then, like, I haven't played it, so that might be a good opportunity for me to play it. God damn you. <laughs> Get it on PS3. You've got a PS3. <laughs> <laughs> Why, you want me to experience the PS3 edition? Yes. Experience it how it was meant to be made, not with constant remakes that they keep... Because the next generation, they'll just do it again. Yeah. It's so just what? sick of it. That's what it's, it's for people like me who didn't get to play the original and have a new console. Then and go play out and buy one. the original, <laughs> or buy it digitally. I don't. Uh, I just don't think it's E three worthy to have a second HD remake of something. It is pretty. Uh, it's having a second remake is a bit far, but what do you think, Joel? I'm no. I'm just going off whatever else I had okay. on this. I enjoyed like I'm, I'm looking at other games on this list that I also enjoyed. Oh yeah. Which the DLC for Uncharted, which is the Uncharted Lost Legacy. Is that DLC or is it its own independent uh, game? I thought it was independent. It's, 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 I thought it was it's its, its own independent game. game, which is a backstory before Uncharted. Yeah. So not yeah. DLC, yeah. It's it's a it's its own game. It's you its can buy game. this on store shelves. Yeah, I'd say so, yeah. yeah. I'd say it's like The Last of Us where yeah. they had their own DLC thing, which was a backstory. Yeah. But standalone game. Mm-hmm. I've just had my yelling shut down by a fact checker. I know it was the fifth game shown last year, not the last one. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Destiny 2? Yeah, Destiny 2, yeah. You interested in, in uh, Destiny 2 at all? Uh, I am. Is yep. that uh, uh, Sony exclusive, though? No. It then is. It's, it's all platforms, but uh, PlayStation get exclusive Actually, items within the game. John from Midwest is playing on his PlayStation, isn't he? Yes. They all will be. Yes, Damn they all it. are. Damn Look, it. there you go. Are, are you going to play with him though? The ping will be ridiculous. Very true, but you're not going to get Destiny 2. Not on console if I'm going to get it. No. No. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. I actually might buy Join the it dark to side. finish my Blizzard launcher. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> that might be a thing I do. Oh, God. Um, and uh, Detroit Become Human was the last one I saw. I'm not interested in that one. No? No, that just didn't do it for me. I love the whole uh, choose your own story path type of thing. Where yeah, it actually does have some effect in so what, some way. what about Until Dawn? Did you enjoy that? Um, no. There was a game on here that's actually a prequel to Until Dawn, the VR one. I didn't realize this until I did research after. I have to remember what it is now. But um, Until Dawn 2, the redawning. <laughs> until dusk. It's a prequel. <laughs> oh, sorry. Before morning. <laughs> yes. Yes, that's the one. Mm-hmm. But, so yeah, um, that, that, that was it oh, for the, me. The, in, the Inpatient was um, it's a prequel to Until Dawn, so it's got I think it's got the the Doctor guy that you talked to. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. that'd be okay. That's that's the kind of thing I'd view as a VR game, like a basic horror. Yeah. No, stick to Final sixty Fantasy. years before Until Dawn, set in the it's sanatorium. A bit of a prequel, yeah. You will play a patient with amnesia, and you can see the horror possibilities in this scenario. Okay. That that will be yeah. Truly terrifying. So just so we can finish up this, do you want to talk about Nintendo? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So I personally think Nintendo won. Oh. Are you kidding? No. Yeah, I am. Sorry. <laughs> um, Mario Odyssey was cool. 
we got to see the actual gameplay mechanic yep. of being able to possess people by throwing his hat at <laughs> things. Did you see that, Jordan? Yeah. Yes, I did. You actually. did. Yeah. When so Arya had the, it a frog, the you T-Rex. become the frog. <laughs> yeah. And when he inhabited just normal-looking people mm-hmm. in the street and cars and stuff like that. Interesting. It'll it'll be look. I, I'm just I'm okay with it. Uh, I'm not okay with Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. That looks terrible. <laughs> and uh, you've already heard my opinion on Mario and Rabbids. Great game. <laughs> game of the year. No. Yep. No. If it if it gets good reviews, I will be very sad. What I am excited <laughs> for is finally, after so many years... Oh, I can see it right here. Metroid Prime 4 and Metroid Samus Returns. Mm-hmm. It's the first mm-hmm. Metroid games we've gotten since early Wii. Wow. Yeah. I remember getting... There was a Metroid game on Nintendo DS when that launched. Was there? Yeah. Was it? Oh, that was the... Prime Hunters. Yeah, that wasn't good. Oh, uh, okay. So this is the first good one. So Metroid yep. Samus Returns is for the DS. It's a side sc- you like this. It's a side scroller platformer based on Metroid 2. Oh wow. Do you remember how the fan made Metroid 2 game got pulled by Nintendo? <gasps> no. Way. Oh my god. Really? <laughs> yep. Holy dang. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so that comes out in September and I'm sadly going to buy it but I'm also going to try and source the ASMR. That's quite evil. That's well, that's clearly what was happening. Like yeah. they had this in development beforehand, or at least like oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> I think it was the idea. It's like if this gets nominated, wow, that's a really good idea. Actually. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, and Metroid Prime Four. So all we got was like a, a logo for that. But I can see other Nintendo things. Kirby was announced. See, Kirby was bad. Yoshi was bad. Really? Look, they, they just look the, like the same games. And this is coming from a Nintendo fan. Yeah. Like. Uh, Yoshi allowed you to shoot things in the foreground and background instead of just on the 2D plane. Okay. Which was kind of cool. Mm. Uh, like the, 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 the graphics are good, but like Woolly World was still the pinnacle for me. Yep. Um, the way they announced Pokemon for the Switch was dumb as hell. It was, it was the developer sitting at a desk saying, yes, there is a new Pokemon core RPG coming this uh, next year. Thank you. That was it? That was it. That's the only announcement you get? Yes. Wow. After they gave us Sun and Moon Ultra. <laughs> kind of a letdown. I yeah? think they just did that because they saw the backlash that happened from when people got so <laughs> it mad. It did about... kind of look like it was shoehorned in. Yeah. It was very, very strange. Um, we're getting a bunch of other stuff as well. But Oh, Rocket League on the Switch. That, yes. that's, that, yep. that actually looks cool. I was it like, did. Oh. And um, yeah. So oh. that's, that's an interesting thing. Sorry. They, last... Are they doing crossplay with the Switch? I think they yes, are. Yes, they are. Crossplay so... is coming to Switch on um, Rocket League, Minecraft, and something else. And so, PC. And... What? Oh, right. Sorry. Hang on. I was listening I got... to games. Yeah, got... sorry. So that's, that's going to everything <laughs> except for PlayStation. Yeah. I think we'll have to talk about the PlayStation thing next week, maybe. Yeah, we'll yeah. cover that next uh, week. Yeah. We're a bit, out, a bit yeah. long in here. Yeah. Also, uh, Legend of Zelda is the first Zelda game. To, this Legend of Zelda is the first Zelda game to get DLC. Paid DLC? Yes. Terrible. Yeah. Why isn't it free? <laughs> it's a Nintendo game. It should be free. Mm. Oh, well. oh well, that's that's me done. Yeah. And that's that. Yeah. That's Do you that. have anything else to end the show? No. no I think... Don't buy FIFA 18 on anything. Don't buy Skyrim <laughs> at all, guys. Yes. No Skyrim. Or we got Skyrim unless it's on the Switch. No. Just not... <laughs> In general, No. <laughs> Anything on the Switch, just stick to the XCOM Mario can I, game. Can I buy Skyrim on the PC? Uh, Is that allowed? Well, on sure. Steam? No. <laughs> now I want to go back and... No, look, no. 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 Okay, no. nobody buys Skyrim, Skyrim anymore. Skyrim is passed. <laughs> Skyrim is gone. We've had Skyrim. You've missed your chance. Go There's buy Morrowind. No... Yeah, sure. That's not Skyrim, so sure. Okay, <laughs> excellent. Uh, yes. So yeah, that's the end of the show. Remember, you can follow us at Replay AU or our individual Twitter accounts, which mine is at Joel's Voice. Mine's at Nimble Nimble, and I'm at Jordan Do Things. Um, so you can also go to our iTunes page and rate and comment us. Yes, mm. and where that that lovely person had commented on our page. Oh, that was on our Facebook page. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. iTunes, Wooshka, and Facebook. I haven't seen any iTunes reviews lately. No, come on, guys. Yeah, we've, we've only got two sitting there. From ones from you. Don't tell them. Oh, uh, and then. One's from some guy I did a um, podcast thing with ages ago, but yeah. Cool. That's we it. need more. Yeah. And that's that. Yeah. Thank, thank you, guys. Listening. Yeah. Thank you for bearing with us. For a long show. Extended edition. Yeah. <laughs> there was a lot of yelling. Yes. Um, we'll be coming back with some new Sony news. With hopefully. more yelling. Yeah. More disappointment from Sony. <sighs> yeah. I agree, actually. This is fine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Bye. Be back next week. <laughs>